Hello, we're going to talk a little bit about balance here in the next couple minutes. Um, of course, really important uh, to think about balance is not just a physical thing that happens from your feet, but uh, it's more of a, a really about a mind body experience and being mindful about how you move and thinking about your posture. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with our feet and kind of set our posture and set how you should feel balanced. So you do want to place your feet. And I do encourage you to do this barefoot or in socks so you can really get the sense of feel on the ground. Um, but set your feet and really feel balanced in the middle of your feet. So sometimes we can lean forward a little bit and be gripping with our toes or leaning back into our heels. So you really want to find a centering in the middle of your feet. And you really will feel it once you get that sense of that. We're going to move up a little bit and we're going to talk about the knees. You want the knees just slightly soft. Um, if you lock your knees, you're going to cause a lot of stress to that joint and you don't want any stress in your knee joints, it can cause damage. So, and you don't want to bend your knees too much to be sitting. So you just want your soft knees. Moving up to your waist, um, balance is really all about core muscles. So the muscles from here to here are really doing the majority of the work to keep you balanced. So I want you to think about having a nice level pelvis, okay? So from the side, okay? So you can see what an anterior pelvic tilt looks like, and then a level pelvis, okay? So you want that waistband level. That will just automatically engage some of those big core muscles, okay? From there, I want you to think about lifting out of the crown of your head and getting nice and tall. Now don't get tall with your shoulders, get tall with your spine because your shoulders need to be down and relaxed. Any stress in your shoulders or your neck is gonna throw off your balance. And the final thing I wanna talk about is posture to help you with your balance is your head position. You do want your head to be in line with your spine, okay? So as we use our technology and things, we sometimes tend to let our head drop, okay? So every degree our head drops forward, we put more and more stress on our upper back and our neck. Um, so right now, if I'm gonna get turned sideways, if my head is in the proper position, my head weighs about 12 pounds. Now it weighs 20, now it weighs 35, okay? So depending on where your head position is, if you put yourself into motion and your head's looking down, you're more apt to fall and lose your balance with your head pulling you down to the floor, okay? So again, feet balanced, knees soft, pelvis level, spine long, okay? One of the most important things about balance is ankle mobility. Now, we don't think about that as much, but if we have tight, stiff ankles and we step on something that's uneven and we don't have flexibility in our ankles, that's going to turn us over into a fall as well. So this nice little exercise, it's really simple to keep some ankle mobility. I got a chair by me just in case. I always want to keep one hand in there just if I'm doing a balance drill just for a little safety, okay? So you get your good posture, you're gonna drive one foot back, put your toes on the ground, and you're gonna do some ankle circles. Now the difference between doing an ankle circle like this and doing an ankle circle like that is here, your ankle gets to truly relax because it's your knee and hip. Your leg is making the circle, not your ankle. So you're gonna do a few circles in each direction, and then you're gonna switch to the other side and do a few. And again, that should feel really nice, like it's just bringing some energy. Um, it's, act, it's called synovial fluid. You're bringing some, some, some grease to the joints to loosen them up and get them prepared to work for you, okay? And this is one of my favorite balance drills here. It's called around the clock. So again, I'm gonna have one hand here just in case I need it. And I'm gonna start, pick a leg, and I start with my right leg. I'm gonna go 12 o'clock, I'm gonna tap my foot down, I'm gonna bring it back. And then one, and bring it back. And then two, and bring it back. If you're feeling confident, you let go of that hand three, and bring it back, four, five, six, and then you switch legs, you take that left leg back, seven, eight, nine, and so forth until you get all the way to 12 o'clock again. The progression to this, again, is letting go. The second progression is to just hover your foot and take a little more time instead of tapping it down and see how long you can hold it. So your first, first progression is just tap and bring it back. Second progression is hover for a second. And then the third progression is to hold it a little bit longer if you can and bring it down and go all the way around the clock. Try that and we'll come back at a later time and show you some more tricks.